r slash r credit by reddition. Like and subscribe. Redditors who worked in retail, what has to be the most to you serious moment ever. So I used to work in H&M located on 5th RV in New York City, so as you can imagine we would get a-holes from all over the world. One day I hear over our radio a frantic call for the porter to come to the ladies fitting room. Turns out a woman decided to take a she in the fitting room and use some shirts to wipe herself. The real are you serious moment was that she continued shopping through the store casually. She was asserting dominance. I worked at Walmart. A woman came in to return a bag of soil because the bag was dirty. She was dead serious. Worked at a fast food place for a while and had this one regular who always had something to complain about. The worst was that no matter what, our fries were never fresh. Whenever we saw her we drop fresh fries, just so she wouldn't complain about them. She'd order, and we'd give her fries directly from the fryer and she'd tell us they weren't fresh, what the flip? My manager got them from her, walked to the back, and brought her the exact same container and apologized, the lady said these are perfect, and went about her day, why do people do this though? Like if you don't think the fries are fresh, and this is a consistent issue for you, go somewhere else. Guy walks into tractor supply, steals bolt cutters off of the shelf. Then walks to the side door and cuts the lock where two of his budders have been placing items near the door. They pile everything in this tiny car and just drive off. They were caught later that day for trying to steal from another store in the same plaza. Watched a man carrying six bottles of red wine simply drop all six bottles on the ground, shattering them, and walk out of the store, carcass stained bright red like a savage business casual warlord. My assumption was that it was an accident, and he was horribly embarrassed and just left. I'd like to believe that it was an intentional piece of performance art, because it was the most beautiful thing I have ever witnessed, maybe you witnessed an important decision in his life. He finally had enough of being an alcoholic, and decided then and there, to drop it all and walk away. Or maybe he's just clumsy. I hear excuse me, and look up from stocking the milk, which I'm standing in front of. Could you tell me where your milk is? I almost didn't answer her, milk is basically the whole aisle, and I had it in my hands. She wanted your milk. I was once berated over 10 minutes because of the fat content of ham a lady was adamant that ham never had fat when I was a kid and wanted to know when they started adding all the fat into ham. I can't eat anything anymore she must have said that like 15 times I was like, lady, they really only taught me how to slice it. I worked at McDonald's when I was 16 to 17. My first day in the grill area training during lunch rush this guy comes in through drive through and orders 100 burgers, 50 plain, 50 with cheese. I was like, WTF man. I was told it was a lunch truck guy that would order them, at the time we had a 49 cent burger and 59 cent cheese burger day, then dress them out and sell them for like 2 to 3 bucks a piece to his customers. This is the guy that would be talked about in math class. I worked at Sears and watched this guy with big brass balls walk in, wave, pick up a TV, and walk back out. Alarm didn't even go off. Woman bought a shed. I asked her her loading bay number and she said she hadn't driven. Asked her if she needed the number of a man with a van or something. She said her husband could carry it. I stared at her and said very slowly madam, it is a building. She insisted that I was being ridiculous, and demanded we bring it up so her middle age, slightly chubby husband could carry it out the store as they only lived about 10 minutes walk away. We brought it up, with extreme difficulty, and she asked me what's that thing. I said that's your shed madam. There's no way Jeff is carrying that. Oddly she decided to pay the money to have it delivered. I worked in a supermarket for about a year and a half, I've had some crackers. The best one, by far, was a man walking up to me and demanding I show him fruit. I asked him what specific kind of fruit, as they are stored in different parts of the store, and he just replied with fruit. So I take him to the part of the store where most of the fruit is kept and asked him 
If that was going to be okay, he then asked me for fruit in bags. I explained that he can put the fruit into the fruit bags to take to the till. He then decides that none of this fruit is the fruit he is looking for. After what felt like weeks of trying to coax what fruit he was looking for out of him, walking him up and down the fruit and veg aisles, three different managers had to get involved after he started yelling at me because I didn't know where the fruit was. He cussed us all out and walked away 20 minutes later he comes marching up to me, shoves a bag of raisins in my face, screams fruit and walks away. Too long didn't read. Guy spent about half an hour screaming fruit at various staff members, he was looking for raisins. I didn't work there, but was behind this woman in line at my tiny town's dollar store type place. She was buying a couple cans of that milk supplement for kittens. Thought it was actual cat milk, and was buying it to drink herself in some sort of fancy food party for one she was throwing for herself. Yeah, I done went to Croger's and got me some fancy cheese and shit. I had to leave the line because I was on the verge of bursting into laughter at the look on the cashier's face. I work overnight stock at Walmart. One night, I'm overstocking the spam section and this big guy walks up. Big big. I'm talking 300 to 400 pounds big. I continue minding my own business, putting things on the shelves, and he speaks. Excuse me, sir. I'm so, so sorry that you have to see this. And then he just pauses. Confused and concerned on equal levels, I stand up and turn around to look at him, wondering what, exactly, he plans on doing. After staring at me for about a good 20 seconds, no exaggeration, he reaches over and then grabs a ton of spam. More containers of spam than I ever thought anybody should ever need in their lifetime, let alone one shopping trip. With his cart fully loaded with spam, he turns around and walks away, leaving a huge empty spot on the shelves that I'd been filling up. I managed to get out a quick, have a nice day, before he escaped around the corner. It was certainly an experience. A guy came in who I have never encountered in my life, served him and all was well 3 hours after my shift, a notification pops up on my phone. This guy had found my Instagram and my Snapchat and added me. What's creepy is the only thing he knew about me was my first name. That was it. Also, I only recently moved to the area and knew nobody here. Creep me out for sure. Awesome. Finally something I can answer. I work at Macy's and the women's shoes department. Our customer base mainly buys clearance items and rarely spends more than $40. Every day I watch as customer after customer asks if they can use coupons, get an extra percent off of the price or any discount possible. Now, one customer took the cake over every other one. She came to me and asked for the made to 18 clearance shoes. As I work off commission and this was a pretty large sale, I basically ran around the stockroom to gather these shoes. I brought them all out neatly stacked in their boxes and rang them up at the register for her and her total came to $236. This is where shit went south. She asked if she could use her 20% off coupon, now normally hell yeah you can use that coupon, but in this day we were having a sale. All clearance shoes were marked down 80% and were roughly dollar sign 10 slash 20 per pair. So coupons were prohibited. She then screamed at me until I called my manager. Like calling me every name in the book, telling me I'm a fucking idiot, that I shouldn't be allowed to work there because I must be retarded, everything. My manager finally came and when she explained that coupons weren't allowed for this particular sale, the woman bought all 18 pairs for $236 but made someone else ring it up so I wouldn't make commission on the sale. Little did she know the other salesperson rang it up using my ID number. Dumb bitch. A lady asked me where are the eggs she was literally looking at me and they were directly behind me. Obviously to shelves wide and with a sign hanging from the side of the shelf that said eggs. She wanted your eggs. I see a pattern here. One time before HDTV and flat TVs, but still since cable ready TVs. 
A lady came into Walmart with a huge floor model console TV, the kind that had no remote, and wanted to return it and get her money back. She started yelling at me when I told her I wasn't accepting the return as she had no receipt and the TV was obviously over 15 years old and she demanded to speak with a manager. So I paged a manager who told her basically the same thing. She then started demanding to speak with Sam. We were like Sam who? Sam Walton, your boss, she screams. My manager had about enough of this lady's BS and told her, well ma'am we have a wide selection of shovels in lawn and garden, so you can go dig him up. Definitely the time when I was moaned at by a customer for not being on a very obviously unmanned checkout despite there being a very obvious long line, because I was very obviously on the phone for an ambulance for a customer who had very obviously collapsed and was now very obviously bleeding to death. You'd be surprised how many women would rather slip their or stick into their purses slash pants than pay whatever sale price they are going for. And this is in the upscale supermarket as well. I used to work at a grocery store as a bagger. This guy said he wanted his milk in a bag, and he has a lot of stuff, so when I finally got around to the milk, cause prioritizing and all that jazz, I wanted to confirm that's what he said. It just slipped my mind. So I asked again. He proceeded to yell, so loud that the next two lanes got quiet, and they were all staring at what was going on, are you flipping stupid? You have hearing problems? Where is your manager? They should fire you for being so stupid. I already said I wanted it in the bag. For flip's sake, I just want to make people happy. Of course, the asshole manager was working that day, so he didn't say a word, even though he watched it go down. I at least had the sympathy of the checkers from the other two lanes. Edit, I forgot to add that in a weird event of real life comedy, this guy answered the phone afterward, and I assume it was his wife or something, because he said, oh, how's my little sweet pea, and I was just like. Worked at a target, and have literally a thousand stories, but the one that sticks out to me was one I wasn't actually present for. Gentleman walked in one day with a blender, sat down in our Starbucks, and proceeded to make himself a smoothie. I can't emphasize enough that this is retail, this is hardly the weirdest thing that's ever happened to us. The floor leader on duty, ask if he needs anything, is looking for anything, he smiles and says no, thank you, very polite. When he's finished, he takes the blender, goes into the bathroom, and proceeds to pour the smoothie onto his head, and begin to shave. In a target bathroom, which admittedly, are already a little akin to the twilight zone. The Australia on the world map of target, if you will. Anyway, a male employee was sent in, to ask what exactly he was doing, and apparently, the man replied with what? It's not like I'm doing anything illegal. What are you going to do, call the cops? Yes, apparently. I guess several other male employees were called up to guard the door before anyone else could get in before police arrived. Don't know exactly what happened to the guy, but I'm glad he's getting use out of his blender. Not really retail, but when I worked at Five Guys someone asked me if our french fries were made from real potatoes despite signs and 50 pound bags of potatoes being in front of her face. Should have replied that they're actually made from French people. Worked in a local fruit market as a teenager. Packed this lady's grocery bag and went to put it in her shopping trolley when she started screaming at me about what a horrible young girl I was and don't I have any compassion etc etc. Turns out she had her pet rabbit sitting in the bottom of the trolley, wrapped in a fur coat no less. I was trying to crush it to death by being nice and loading up her groceries for her. I ended up crying while the next lady in line consoled me. I work in a butcher shop. Today a lady came in looking for lean turkey mince as she was on a new diet. She said her daughter made up her diet plan and is weighing her every day. I asked her how is she finding it so far and she said it's really tough. This is going to be the first thing I've eaten in two days. Flip her daughter. Work at a restaurant. Recently had a customer I've never heard of before call up and ask for a reservation. Sure, what day and time? Today in 10 minutes, okay. Also, 
tell the kitchen I'm coming and to prioritize my table's food. I'm a regular there, people will know who I am. Needless to say I didn't tell the kitchen. Also, I know our important regulars, he wasn't one of them. Hell, I'd never even seen the guy before. As a cart boy, a guy throws his trash into a cart while he's standing right in front of a trash can. Worst part is, when I went back to campus, college, I told my friend who was part of the janitorial staff. Instead of sympathy, he just shouted, it's your job. I felt like dumping flour in the room he had to clean and saying, what's the problem? It's your job. Two women looking at olive oil after dining at an Italian restaurant next door. Oh my god, look how much fat it has. It didn't scan, must be free, right? Ha 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 ha. When several people yelled at me for ruining their kids Christmas because we didn't have a certain item in stock or even sell it. Like, I'm a flipping cashier, I have she all to do with what we sell, and if something we do sell is out of stock, am I supposed to snap my fingers and make it appear? No son, you ruined your kid's Christmas by not planning ahead and getting what you needed. Next time buy it up, when you see it, or order it online, don't crawl up my A about it. I grew up in a big city until I was 15, and we moved to a small town. I got a job at the grocery store which wasn't very busy. One day I'm working with one other teenage girl and a guy comes between our two lanes, looks at the girl I'm working with, and says no way I'm going to have a brown girl ring through my groceries. That was the first time I ever met a racist person, never witnessed anything like this in the city, so it really boggled my mind. I told him I couldn't help him, so he would have to go to a different store, and I left my till. I worked at a bakery counter in a grocery store. Lady asks me about a cake that has fresh raspberries on top, I tell her, it's a white cake, raspberry filling, and fresh raspberries. She thinks about it and then asks, does it taste like cherries? After looking at her and trying not to say anything rude for a good solid minute, I managed to say no, and I walked away into the back. I worked at Suncoast, video retailer, during the early 2000s and some dude kept calling me for weeks asking me if the movie Churro Man had come out on DVD. He had a pretty thick Hispanic accent to his English. I considered myself a film buff, and I had never heard of a movie called Churro Man. Every time he called I would look up Churro Man in the computer database and of course nothing would come out. I would ask him if he got the title wrong. Perhaps it was the Wicker Man, and he was like nah dude, it's Churro Man, I saw a commercial that it was coming out on DVD. It got to the point where I just thought the guy was flipping trolling me. One day the guy came into the store in person. He came up to the register and was like you guys finally got it huh? While holding up a DVD, it was true romance. Are you flipping serious brat? I had a male customer come up behind me and start rubbing my shoulders. I had spoken to him earlier about products and he'd gone on about how much he liked my hair and did the creepy arm touch thing, so I'd moved on to other tasks and I was horrified when he followed me and put his hands on me. Not cool man. So your floor is wet over by the broccoli. I know, did you not see the wet floor sign? I worked in the warehouse and the amount of people not understanding the size of their new TV versus the size of their vehicle was unbelievable. One moment in particular, when I put down the person's 60 projection TV, and it was taller than the two-door Civic it was going in, and it didn't even register on their face. Former florist here. Had a customer refuse to pay for a bunch of flowers, because she thought I was breathing over the flowers too much. This has happened a few times. A customer will ask me if we are out of something. Yes, I'm sorry we are out of that right now. Apparently my answer, along with the shelf being empty, is not good enough. So they go to the next person they see and ask that person. That person then relays the question to me, since it's my area after all. Yes, we are still out, is my reply. Customers can be idiots, but we always bend over backwards to accommodate them. 
a woman came into the sporting goods store and asked for a manager. I came out. She held up a pair of dirty, worn out tennis shoes. I want to return these. They wore out too quickly. Me, laughing straight in her face, no. Just no. At a drugstore there are many. I was showing someone the original, and I said we have regular strength and maximum strength. She asked which one is stronger? Was working the deli, and after cutting some ham I asked if there was anything else he wanted. This old man said, if you were a girl I'd ask you out, but you'd probably say no, and then just stood there waiting for a response. A female customer collapsed on my register. Turns out she tried stealing a frozen chicken by putting it under her hat. I know these are buy one get one free, but I only want one. Could I just get one at 50% off? No, sir. But if you would like to buy one, I can give you another one for free. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more edit videos.